Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be making another gathered toddler dress similar to the one I made to match my two-piece bodycon outfit. You can check that tutorial out in the link above. This time I've adjusted the pattern for a low cut back and I've also added straps for a bow tie in the back as well. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. All right guys, let's get started. I have two yards of this flower print cotton fabric and one yard of this off-white cotton fabric for the lining. I have a toddler tee that I fold in half from the bottom, then fold in half again from the side. I trace across the shoulder, then down the side and around the neckline. I use my seam ripper to poke through the seam to indicate the armhole and the front neckline onto the pattern or craft paper. After tracing, I cut double of the front pieces. One of them will be for the low cut back pattern. To do that, I set one piece aside. On the other piece, I measure four and a half inches down from the neckline and mark at that point. I take my curved ruler and place it at the four and a half inch point and the inner shoulder point and trace and cut the curve. Now I have the deep curve for the back and I'm also going to add a half inch seam allowance on the side of the pattern where the zipper will be installed. To do that, I just take some scrap craft paper, cut and tape enough onto the side to mark and cut my half inch seam allowance. Now I have my front and adjusted back pattern pieces for the top of the dress. The front piece will be cut on the fold and the back piece will be cut into two separate pieces. Here I have the front piece and both back pieces cut onto fabric. I also have the lining cut out as well. For the skirt, I cut across 18 inches then 13 inches down the fold of the fabric for the front of the dress. That makes it 36 inches long total when opened. And just a note, you can adjust the length of your skirt to be longer or shorter than 13 inches. Then I cut two separate 18 by 13 inch pieces for the back of the skirt. Lastly, I cut two 24 by 16 inch piece straps to tie for the bow. For the first step, I take the front and back pieces of the top and line the shoulders together front facing in, then sew across with a straight stitch. I do the same for the lining as well. After sewing those pieces together, I line the lining and front piece together, right sides facing in with the shoulder seams pressed flat. Then I sew across the back and front neckline and armholes with a straight stitch. Next I cut a fourth inch off the excess fabric from the seam allowance and cut small slits around the curve of the neckline and armholes, being careful not to cut through the stitch. Then I turned the top right side out. As you can see, the shoulder straps were small, so it did take a little work for me to get through, but I took my time and little by little, I got through each side. Now I'm going to press the top to make it nice, flat, and neat. And this is what I end up with here, all nice and neat. I folded in half at the shoulders and now I have the front and the back of the top with the clean neckline, armholes, and the low cut at the back. To prepare the skirt pieces, I sew a base stitch for gathering, one fourth of an inch down across the top. I do the same for the other two pieces. I place the top of the dress down and grab the front piece of the skirt. I gather the skirt to match the length of the waistline of the top.
Then I line and pin the top of the skirt together, right sides facing in at the raw ends, and sew across with a straight stitch. I turn the dress to the back and gather, then attach both skirt pieces on both sides the same way I did for the front. Here's the skirt attached at the front of the dress, and here's what it looks like in the back. Next I'm going to attach this 7 inch zipper to the back. To attach the zipper, I line both of the back pieces together, right sides facing in, and pin down the center, making sure to line the side seams together. I place the top of the zipper at the top of the back line and mark the dress right above the metal end of the zipper. I sew down with the base stitch to the point I just marked, then continue sewing down with the regular straight stitch. I open the back of the dress wrong side up and press the seam flat down the center. Again, I place the top of the zipper at the top of the back line right side down. I pin the zipper in place, making sure the center of the zipper is lined with the seam to the end of the zipper. Then I sew down one side of the zipper, across and above the metal end, then down the other side. Here's what that looks like after it's been attached. I take my seam ripper and open the base stitch above the zipper. Now the zipper is fully installed and opens and closes perfectly. Next I take both straps and fold them over in half right side in. Then I place them together. At one end I measure 3 inches down at the raw ends and mark at that point. I take my curve ruler and line it at the 3 inch point and the bottom corner, trace and cut that curve. I separate both pieces and sew across the raw ends with a straight stitch. After sewing the straps together, I use my loop turner with the small little hook at the end to help turn the straps inside out. First I insert the loop turner, hook it at the end of the strap, then pull the loop turner and pull the fabric back to turn it right side out. Here are the straps after being pressed. I grab the dress and turn it wrong side out. I pull the dress back on top and on the inside I place one of the straps, making sure the curve at the end is facing upwards, on the center of the side of the top. I place the other side of the dress back on top of the strap, making sure to line the raw ends and the side seams together and pin the strap and the sides of the dress together, right sides facing in. I do the same on the other side and I also pin the straps down on the inside to make sure they're out of the way as I sew down the sides with a straight stitch. Here's the front of the dress after it's been fully sewn together and here's the back of the dress along with the zipper and the bow ties. I decided to sew an underwear cover for the dress which is totally optional. I used this free diaper cover pattern I found at madeeveryday.com and I'll put the link to that in my description box. She also has a tutorial on her website and on YouTube that I followed as well. I'll make sure to add the link so you can check that out there. Just to note, I did use the 3-6 to six month sizing because I didn't want the cover to be too big since she isn't in diapers. It ended up working out perfectly. So after finishing the underwear cover, the dress is now complete. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!